All right, what's up, people? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jack. I produce weekly content based around video production. Today, we're going to be talking about starting a YouTube channel for profit. Now, this is something that a lot of people approach and literally fails for 99.99% of people. It is a very long game YouTube. Ideally, you have to enjoy the thing so that you do it for long enough that eventually, years later, it becomes a success for you. It's not something you start and by tomorrow, you're already making money off of it. Not even slightly, right? However... I, as a freelancer in my freelance career, have worked with people who have set up a YouTube channel 100% for profit. So I've seen the behind the scenes, and I've seen them pour money into something for quite a while without much happening, and I've seen one guy out of all the people that I worked with actually pull the thing off, and I'm going to be talking about how or things you should consider if you are attempting to start a YouTube channel just for profit. Now, a little bit of backstory on what I mean by this or a breakdown. What I mean is, is not you're just starting a channel making content yourself. You don't make content. You go out there and you hire somebody to make content and you upload it to your channel, more of like a community channel type of feel. Uh, a great example of these are top 10 channels, right? Where essentially there is a person on the voiceover, uh, there's a different person who edited that video, there's a different person who wrote the script for that video, and there's a guy who runs the channel with the big bucks at the top, paying everybody, and then orchestrating the whole thing, basically. And these are the people who I've worked with in the past, and it's a very interesting... Um, potentially extremely profitable business plan if you can go through the sort of a uh, grind stage of having to put a lot of money into this thing and build it up. Now, let's talk about it, all right? So, there is a tried and tested method for creating a YouTube channel for profit. I'm going to break down step by step exactly how I've seen it done, uh, the things you should be aware of, and why it's probably not a good idea for most of you watching this, or at the very least, not a good idea for anybody who doesn't have lots of money behind them because it's quite an expensive thing to do. Um, so basically, we're talking about treating a YouTube channel solely as a business. Somebody who's making money off of something else looks at YouTube and they say, people are making money off of this. I could make money too. And they might not even understand YouTube, but they, they want to make a channel because they know there's profit in it, right? What they do is they go and they hire freelancers to create the content. I had an extensive freelance career. I have played the editor and even at sometimes the voiceover artist for channels that have been created specifically for profit. And I've interacted with the people who have built these channels and I've seen them put a lot of money into it, right? So essentially, um, I'm going to break it down. Now, the top 10 channels are the greatest example of the starting a YouTube channel for profit model. Somebody, like I said, who maybe has an e-commerce business or something else that's, that's a business that's doing well for them will come to YouTube and they will create a channel, usually a type of generic content that be can be recreated a shitload of times, basically, right? So top 10s are perfect. You could do top 10 biggest pyramids in Egypt or top 10 slimiest fish in the ocean, top 10 water bottles that are weird colors, right? Like obviously more relevant topics, but those are just random ideas in my head, right? So I could start a top channel, 10, 10 channel. Who wants to be the voiceover artist, right? But basically, um, they want to start a top 10 channel or they want to start a channel that can just pump out generic content over and over again that's pretty search result based, which means they can bring views in, etc. And top 10s are the exact channel they always choose, right? So what they do is they make a channel. Now, I'm going to be breaking down as a case study this channel, Insane Curiosity. This is now a pretty significantly big channel, and they're doing good views. Let me let me type them in, Insane Cur Curiosity, right? They've now got 124,000 subscribers, and every single day, they're getting about 10, for 5 to 10K views a video, or 5 to 20K views a video by the looks of it, right? I worked with these guys when they were getting less than 1,000 views a video. I'm talking, I have not been working with these guys for over two years. Lorenzo. Nice guy, Italian guy who runs the channel, right? He was the guy who hired me a couple years ago. Now, this guy basically hired a voiceover artist, a video editor, and a script writer. So somebody writes the scripts for these videos. They go research, for example, their newest video, What's Inside the Sun?, that's an individual person out there researching what's inside the sun. And they're like, number one, uh, you know, heat, you know, <laughs> right? So like th th there's that, right? Um, and then you send that script off to a voiceover artist and they then do the voiceover. They sit in front of a mic like this, like, oh yeah, number one, heat. And they talk about the voice. Uh, they do the voiceover. And then Lorenzo, right, or the higher, the owner of the channel, would then send that voiceover to me, the editor. And I would then edit up a video with stock footage, stock 
pictures or whatever of the sun and stuff, and I'd then send that video back to him. And they might even have a fourth guy, the SEO guy, right? The actual person who knows how to do the metadata and all that type of stuff, right? So potentially, if you are Lorenzo at the top, you're paying for a script writer, you're paying for a voiceover artist, you're paying for a video editor, and then assuming that maybe you know all the SEO, but maybe you probably don't. So then you're also paying for a optimization specialist, this SEO specialist to optimize all your videos and basically put them in a position to actually go somewhere, right? Because if you're just uploading content, throwing it out there, it might not go anywhere, right? You got to be a little bit more strategic, especially in this day and age. But that right there is the how to start a channel for profit. And Lorenzo, my man, Insane Curiosity, we're looking at his channel right now. And if we run his channel through Social Blade, the guy's generating, I think, a million and a half views a month or something. So nearly two mil a month, right? Which on my CPM, that would be about 100 grand a year, right? Now, I don't know if he's getting my CPM because I got a little bit of a different CPM. I'm, I'm a little bit bigger and also my content's very different. I don't know what top 10s make, but let's say at least he's making a dollar to two dollars per mil, uh, per thousand uh yeah a thousand to two thousand dollars per million views which means at the very least he's making two to four grand a month probably at the very least i'd imagine right off off 1.9 million views two to four grand a month at the very least now he was probably putting in he was paying me a thousand a month just to be the editor back in the day right at least i think maybe like a thousand maybe even above a thousand sometimes he was only paying me per video but it was like 60 bucks a video the videos were like four times a week, whatever, three, three to four times a week, whatever, you know what I mean? So he was giving me about a thousand a month two years ago. And now a year later, he's maybe making passive income of, of let's say, um, you know, two to four thousand dollars a month, right? But he's been pumping in probably at least a thousand, two thousand dollars every month for the past two years to get to the point where now he's at the point where clearly if he keeps this going, maybe in a year he'll be making maybe like 10 million views, five, 10 million views. And at that point, it's very profitable, right? At that point, he'll be making, you know, if he could be making 10 grand a month off a YouTube channel, that's, that's pretty killer, right? Especially if it's passive and he's got other guys doing the work. All of us would like a little setup like that if we were just handed it. But that's the thing about the starting a YouTube channel for profit is it's not something that's handed to you. Lorenzo used to hire me years ago. We worked together for a year plus. Case study, insane curiosity. Look at this if you want. The dude put a lot of money into it. It's arguable that he's not profitable. Like I said, I don't talk to Lorenzo anymore. Stopped working to, with him a good two years ago or something. But I remember him and I remember talking to him at the time. He's like, bro, I'm putting a lot of money into this thing. <laughs> you know, we were talking like that. So, so. I, I'd, I'd like to, I'm hypothesizing that he's making two to four grand a month. Maybe it's more, maybe it's less. I know YouTube, I don't necessarily see him making much more off a top 10 channel um, than about two to four grand a month off, 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 off. I don't know what the CPM is, to be honest. Um, but at the end of the day, starting a YouTube channel for profit, definitely not something you should do as your first venture. Definitely something going to be very costly. If you've got significant cash flow from something else, it could be worth it, but it's a long game. And, uh, you know, YouTube is something that is so sought after by basically everybody at this point that there's a shitload of competition. You're going to have to really do something above and beyond if you want to make an impact. And uh, overall, it's going to take a lot of money to uh, to put it in to start a channel just for profit. But I broke it down. That's what I wanted to do. Nobody, I don't think, has made a, a video like this on YouTube, break it down how to start a YouTube channel for profit. This is a 100% type of channel you could start. If some big baller's watching this, they made it to the end. They're fucking sitting in Dubai like, okay, so how? I, I, hire, the, I hire the voiceover artist and then I do this and then, I, okay, thank you, Jack. I'm, you know what I mean? If my big ballers are out here, you don't mind putting a couple grand into it a month for the next two years until it's something that's profitable. By all means, do it. Hit me up. I'll be the editor. No, I'm kidding. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a nice day and uh, awesome. Bow! Check out Creator Dashboard. We got some crazy stuff dropping soon because you guys have made it to the end. We've got merch dropping soon. It's going to be absolutely insane. I'm not even going to lie. I've got samples on samples. This is a whole bunch of hoodies. And, oh, I just exposed my dress right there. Well, you're at the end, so come say what's up. I got shitload of samples here. They weren't good enough. We redesigned. We sent off for some more samples. The shit's going to be fucking amazing, I promise you. Merch inbound. I can't wait to get my tees on these viewers that are watching you guys <laughs> take it easy